Welcome, Welcome to, to Rochester. Rochester. Hi, my name is Allie. I'm the second year fellow. My name is Amy. I'm the first year fellow. And I'm Elena. I'm the third year fellow. And come with us to learn more about our program. Hi, my name is Keem. I am the second year adolescent medicine fellow. My personal interest in adolescence um, mainly deals with gender affirming care and also substance use disorder. And my current research project that is dear and close to my heart is seeing how race impacts like the youth of people between the ages of like 13 to 18. One of the premier features, features of our program is that we all have our own workstations. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is our adolescent medicine office. This is the office that we share with our other fellows. As you can see, everyone has their own workstation with two screens. And then you also, in addition to that, have like your webcams and all, so you can do virtual visits and also do our educational series. Talking about our educational series, our educational series, also known as AIMS, is when on every Tuesdays, which is our didactic days, for one hour, our entire department gets together with also other subspecialty doctors and talk about topics that are related to not only adolescent medicine, but topics that you will also get on your board certification tests. The office support staff has is great. So our office of course staff consists of um, about like six wonderful women and then with those ladies they do anything and everything that you can think of so in terms of like just making sure that our clinic is fully staffed in terms of like things that we need for procedure clinic for our iud's and our marina and any kind of devices that we need for insertion they answer all of our phone calls for us and schedule our appointments they follow up with patients um in regards to making sure that questions are answered and they provide that essential service of making sure that they are the connection between us as the doctors and also to as um, the patients. So our office staff, they're literally the lifeline of adolescent medicine. So let's meet them now. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's some more members of our team. Hello. Hi. Hey, ladies. So understanding that without these awesome ladies that we cannot do anything without our team. I'm Amy Paul. I'm the third year Adolescent Medicine Fellow. My current interests are in gender affirming care and reproductive justice. And my project was a curriculum development um, to provide education to the pediatric residents on LGBTQ plus healthcare and how we can be a more affirming space. And I will say that getting a master's while I was here in health professions education has really helped me in developing my curriculum. On the Adolescent Medicine Service, we take patients that are medically complex or medically unstable patients with eating disorders such as anorexia nervosa, bulimia, um, and ARFID. We also have on our service intentional overdoses. So we do a lot of toxicology, which is a really good learning experience. And then we also have some adolescent gynecology, such as abnormal uterine bleeding and PID that we admit to our service. We get consults on patients that there's a suspected potentially eating disorder and they want our advice on nutrition or maybe on a diagnosis. We get consults on gynecology or contraception uh, for patients that are inpatient. And then we also manage patient, adult patients with eating disorders. And so we kind of help consult and give them some ideas and tips and tricks on nutrition for our adult eating disorder patients. When we're rounding, we do pretty extensive rounds where we round outside of the room and then also do some rounding inside the room. We teach our medical students and our residents how to do some motivational interviewing, as well as teaching them the pertinent things about adolescent medicine. If we have time in the week, we also do structured lessons on refeeding syndrome or typical diagnoses that they'll see. So we try and make it is a well-balanced and well-rounded rotation for all of our trainees. We have a pretty great 8 South and Children's Hospital here. There's a teen lounge down this way, right over there, where our teens do teen group. Um, and if you come with me, we'll give you a quick view of 8 South. We won't go too far in, but I'll show you a little bit of what our unit looks like. As you can see, all of the rooms, all of our patients have individual rooms, which is awesome. Um, on the door, can't show you because it says patient names, but it has who the nurse is, so we are able to do a really multidisciplinary rounding experience for our patients. 
Here we have our Eight South workroom where our medical students and our residents work. I'll show you quickly and you can say hi to all of the trainees on our service. This is our wonderful team working hard for our adolescent medicine patients. We have an amazing team on 8 South of nurses, LPNs, social work, child life who help coordinate care for all of our patients. My name is Alexandra. I go by Ali. I'm a first year adolescent fellow. Um, I'm interested in reproductive justice and my current research that I'm doing right now um, is looking at emergency contraception counseling and correlating it with gender, sex, socioeconomic status, um, and level of pride. Why don't you come with me um, through our uh, outpatient clinic? And then here we have our wonderful nurses that help us um, in our outpatient clinic. Hi everyone. Hi. All right. So this is what a patient room in our outpatient clinic looks like. Um, and I think Amy, you have a few questions that you want to ask. Me. I do. Okay. So the first question that I have is, what types of patients? do we see in our outpatient setting? Um, so in our outpatient clinic, we see our eating disorder patients. We see them here on an outpatient basis, as well as seeing urgents, um, which are our patients who might be medically unstable and need to be evaluated within the week. Um, and we decide if they need to be, if they need to come in for a medical admission. We also see our patients for gender affirming care. And so that um, ranges in the diagnosis of gender dysphoria, um, talking about um, hormones in terms of testosterone and estrogen, and then also talking about puberty blockade. And then we do have procedure clinic, and there we see a lot of our patients um, with gyne pathology. So we um, see patients who have maybe dysmenorrhea, menorrhagia. We also do a lot of contraceptive care um, as well there. And in terms of our procedure clinic, we have it a few times each month. Awesome, thank you. And what procedures do we do in procedure clinic? So in procedure clinic, we will make sh we uh, usually do like Nexplanon insertions and removals, as well as IUD insertions and removals. Mm -hmm. And the occasional pap smear, right? Yes. And last question, what kind of support staff do we have down here in our outpatient clinic? For the support staff that we have, we have a registered dietitian that we can refer our patients to work with, all of our eating disorder patients. And we also have a social worker here who is tremendously helpful for all of our patients and their families and connecting them to other resources. We're gonna talk a little bit about the electives that we have here in our Adolescent Medicine Fellowship. We have plenty and multiple electives to give you a well-rounded education. Some of those electives include university health services, working at the STD clinic, working at Planned Parenthood, endocrinology, toxicology, so you can little, learn a little bit more about substance abuse, both inpatient and outpatient, um, and basically anything that you could want. If you are interested in something, our program and our program director, Dr. Yasmin, will work as hard as she can to make sure that it happens for you. While you're here, you'll also have a lot of mentorship from all the attendings um, and our support staff as well. So our attendings are always open um, if you have any questions about particular patients that you see in your clinic or while you're inpatient. And then in terms of mentorship, also in terms of your research, so you have a scholar scholarly oversight committee, um, which is made up of different um, uh, different attendings that you will meet that will age you in the research whatever topic you want to do and we also will meet up with them pretty frequently throughout your time here. And any mentorship that you could possibly need, all of our faculty members are really willing and open to helping you with anything that you could possibly want. And the last thing we want to talk about is living in Rochester. So neither of us are originally from Rochester and we came here for fellowship. And Rochester has so much to offer. If you like the outdoors or if you don't, um, there's so many things to do in the summertime. There's festivals such as the Lilac Festival, the Jazz Festival. In the wintertime, there's skiing, there's always hiking, and there's always something to do or someone to do it with that's around. There's plenty of places to try out different foods. Um, there's also like 
for Ontario Beach Park, so if you want to get some of the beach vibe, you can try to go over there. Um, but there's, there's definitely things to do here in Rochester. And we've loved our time here and hanging out with each other as well as all of the faculty members that we work with. My name is Kate Greenberg. I'm one of the adolescent medicine attendings. Um, I do a lot of reproductive health. I have a secondary appointment with GYN and fellows spend time with me here. And then I also run our gender health services program. My favorite thing about fellowship here at U of R is Shelly Yesman, our fellowship director. She is flexible, she's an advocate, she is really, really like very special and I think does a lot to help fellows be successful. Um, and my favorite thing about Rochester is probably farmer's market season. It's a long winter and so then when things start to grow and we can buy local food, it makes me really, really happy. Hi, my name is Heather Wensley and I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner with Adolescent Medicine. My favorite thing about the program is the people, the team, and the community. And my favorite thing about Rochester is the restaurants, the festivals in the summer, and the schools for our kids to go to. Hi, I'm Erica Bostic. I'm one of the Adolescent Medicine attendings and former graduate of the fellowship program. Um, this program is really near and dear to my heart as a graduate, and I feel lucky to have been able to stay on as faculty after graduating. Probably my favorite thing about the program is that we have the privilege of providing care to a very large catchment area in Western and upstate New York uh, that really no other clinician does as much as we do. And so we are subspecialists in eating disorders, gender health care, and full spectrum pediatric and adolescent gynecology. Um, and so we are able to touch the lives of so many patients and families in providing this care. Um, that's probably my favorite part of doing what we do. Um, Rochester's a great little city. Um, I came from New York City, so very different if you're coming from a bigger place. But I have to say probably my favorite bit about Rochester is the foodie scene. There are some really awesome like farm to table and really an eclectic mix of different cuisines. Um, some of my favorite restaurants are The Revelry and Good Luck if you ever come by. Uh, you should definitely check it out and we hope to see you in Rochester. Hi, my name is Amy Realbuto. I am one of the pediatric nurse practitioners here in Adolescent Medicine at Galasano Children's Hospital. I am also the clinical director of our outpatient clinic. Um, my favorite thing about our program is the camaraderie between all of our physicians, our nurse practitioners, our fellows, our dietitians, our social workers, and everybody else that we work with to really come together to promote such um, a great team for all of our patients. Um, and the most favorite thing about Rochester is the culinary experience. There are such amazing restaurants, different kinds of restaurants, anything your heart desires. And so I really think that that's what attracts a lot of people to Rochester. Hi, I'm OJ Saylor. I'm one of the attendings uh, in the Division of Adolescent Medicine. And my special area is chronic pain, so that I see people with chronic abdominal pain, migraine, um, joint pains, and what I use is biofeedback. So I really try to do um, my interventions non-pharmacologically. Uh, my favorite thing about the program, I guess, being one of the attendings, is I think the faculty is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and hopefully uh, others have said that as well, because I think this is a really very, very special uh, division. Um, my favorite thing about Rochester is a little bit difficult because I live in the um, Finger Lakes and that is about 35 miles south from here. So one of the things that I think you would find really, really delightful is the fact that we live in an incredibly broad, diverse, and very, very beautiful environment. So hope that you will um, do some exploring when you're here. Hi, I'm Taylor Starr. I'm Associate Professor of Pediatrics in the Division of Adolescent Medicine, and I'm the Medical Director of our Child and Adolescent Eating Disorder Program. My favorite part of our program is that we really prioritize wellness, and I believe our leadership lead by example. 
I think my favorite part of Rochester is that has a, it has a little bit of everything. Hi, I'm Jamie Marriger, he, him pronouns. I'm one of the attendings in the adolescent med division. I do a mix of general adolescent medicine, some primary care pediatrics, LARC clinic, and I help to run the gender program here. Um, let's see, my favorite thing about our program is the variety of things that we get to see and do here, and I really love precepting the fellows procedure clinic. Uh, my favorite things about Rochester are the awesome parks and the cost of living here is amazing um, and the people are super nice too. Hi, I'm Susie, the adolescent medicine nurse. I do lots of different things here, so you can just ask me what I do. Um, my favorite place in Rochester is to explore the trails of the Finger Lakes, and the thing that I love the most about the program is the family atmosphere that everyone um, displays both inside of work and outside of work. Hi, I'm Rich Kripe, I'm Professor Emeritus of Pediatrics. Um, and my favorite thing about uh, the city of Rochester is actually the Charlotte Pier, uh, where the Genesee River, the only river that flows north uh, on this side of the Rockies, uh, flows into the um, Lake Ontario, which then flows into the Atlantic Ocean, which then flows all the way over to Europe. And my the most important thing I think about the uh, our institution, University of Rochester. It's the home of the biopsychosocial model, uh, which really looks at all the various issues, biological, psychological, and social issues. And uh, you'll love living in Rochester, and you'll learn a lot coming to the University of Rochester. Hi, I'm Shelley Yusman, and I am the program director for our fellowship, as well as the division chief for adolescent medicine. And we look forward to having you interview with us. I have too many favorite things about our program to, to discuss, but I would definitely want to make sure that everyone knows about our flexible curriculum based on each individual fellow's interests and passions and long-term career goals, and also about our over 20 community rotations and electives, and those include lots of exciting things as well as our close collaboration with Planned Parenthood. And my favorite thing about Rochester, I would say, would be our incredible public market and all of our amazing outdoor festivals. We look forward to seeing you.